Hey guys, it's Brian from 2Fab here. Today we're with Candy Burris from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Hey. Now, I, we're gonna talk a lot about Valentine's Day. Mm. We've got bedroom candy, yes. the uh, adult line of products that you have. Yes. Um, what kind of tips do you have for you know the couple that's looking to maybe spice it up a little, not do the dinner and a movie kind of thing? Ooh, okay, <laughs> well, First of all, I tell everybody, you gotta be open-minded. You gotta try some new things, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so <laughs> I would tell anyone, they need to, if it's a couple, they need to get our vibrating panties okay. called Control <laughs> Me. And basically, ladies, you need to give your man the remote and say, tonight I want you to control me. Then you guys go out to a crowded place <laughs> to start the night off real fun. And as we, you go out, you know, throughout through the night, mm -hmm. he can hit the button every now and then when he wants <laughs> to turn you on, literally. <laughs> you can do anything, because some people like the idea of doing something freaky when nobody else knows. Mm. So the more people in the room, the merrier. <laughs> you know, so the fact that he's getting you off and nobody even knows. <laughs> and let's say, you know, you finally, you know, make it home or whatever, but you don't want to get right to it. Okay. You know, <laughs> so we have our bedroom candy chocolate body paint oh. that I tell people <laughs> it's so fun. It, it, it comes with the paintbrush. Okay. And then you can tie them up. And then I'd say paint words on them, right? Mm -hmm. Chocolate. If you like chocolate, I like chocolate. <laughs> Who doesn't? Yes, you paint <laughs> words on them and then you lick it off and make them guess the words you're, you're saying, mm. you know? Uh, vegan friendly uh, for those gonna, of you who worry. I was going to ask calories for the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the calorie count <laughs> offhand, but um, our, our products are definitely vegan friendly. Okay. Now, I know you said you know everyone needs to kind of keep an open mind. Mm -hmm. When you started this business, was did you think there was like a stigma attached to it, and has it gotten oh, better? Oh, definitely. Um, and the funny thing is, okay, it's so weird, but. I found out, you know, after starting my my, my adult toy line, <laughs> that um, in the African American community, a lot of people don't like to talk about sex. Mm -hmm. Everything is still hush hush, even though it's a lot of people getting freaky. Yeah, everyone does. But it. <laughs> they don't. It's like I don't know because of this whole, you know, a lot of us are brought up in a church. We, mm -hmm. you know, raised like, oh, you're not supposed to say that or whatever. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, you know, don't like to talk about sex, and so people were saying that basically I was making it better for women to really be able to have that conversation or you know people period to feel like it's okay to have that talk mm -hmm. about sex which which is important yeah. not just for the fun part <laughs> but also the health and wellness side of it okay so um, as a woman most women never even um, experience orgasms and which is crazy i think i don't know the exact percentage but there are a lot of women who have never experienced an actual orgasm and so I always tell people, you need to know your own body mm -hmm. so that you can tell your mate how to please you, you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's really the thing about it for me. Um, I've always been kind of open-minded and fun mm -hmm. when it comes to the bedroom. <laughs> um, and I remember, uh, whew, actually, I, I think the first time I ever had a vibrator, a boyfriend, had brought it to the bedroom and mm. not for him, no, but, but for me. He brought know. it to the party. Yeah, so <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, but it was fun. <laughs> and I was like, okay, this is kind of cool, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but after that, I was like, ooh, everybody should have one of these. <laughs> hey, it has to be something that women, we don't have to feel ashamed about having. So we even have a certain products like our Candy Kisses, which is the lipstick. Mm -hmm. It doesn't even look like a vibrator. <laughs> I have it sitting on my counter, and people can walk in and never know what it so is. it's not in the drawer, the secret yeah, drawer Yeah, it doesn't even have bed. to be in a <laughs> secret drawer or anything like that. And then we also have like one that looks like a makeup compact. Okay. It even has the mirror in it. I used to walk around <laughs> with it in my purse, and when I wanted to check my makeup, I would be pulling it out. And, um, the part that looks like the powder puff, that's the actual vibrator. Mm. But people never even knew I'm sitting here holding up a vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> has some nice double use though. <laughs> yeah, it has double use because the mirror was great. But um, yeah, I just wanted women to be able to um, be sexually satisfied without mm. feeling bad about it. Yeah, you know. And hey, I'm a I'm a mom, I'm a wife, mm -hmm. I'm a businesswoman, and. I like to turn up sometimes. <laughs> and I think a lot of women are like that. It's not bad. Yeah. Sex is not bad. No. And to <laughs> have sex and not enjoy sex, that would be bad. Yes. So <laughs> do yourself a favor. 
and get you some bedroom candy. <laughs>